Our past paper question, uh, June 2013, paper 2, advance, question number 3A. We have the six figures, six figures, write down the letter H, which, uh, like graph, does not represent a function, does not a function. And write down the letter, like here, the function does not have an inverse function. So, for this question, for this past paper question, we have so many past paper questions like this. Just one question of exercise 9.1 is enough. Just one question. Let's see. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Manoj Roy. Today we're doing this chapter, Functions Exercise 9.1. Just one or two questions, and that will be definitely help you with an introduction to functions. Uh, I have taken like here four examples. In the middle, you can see we have like two examples, the same. Okay. In the first example, if you see in the left hand side, uh, when I put y is equals to x plus 2 and y, x equals to 4, so it is coming 6. That's a very simple equation. Second equation is y is equal to x squared and third is also the same, but I have to use the different values. x is 4. When you write x is 4, 4 squared is 16, that's it. But now I have to take x equals to minus 4. This minus 4, when I substitute minus 4 in the equation, minus 4 whole squared, the answer is coming the same 16, like two values of x, but the y is coming same. This is a very important thing. In the first equation, when x was 4 here, you can see x is 4. So when x is 4 or y is coming 6, it means this is called one value of x and the one value of y is coming, only one value of y. But here you can see, Two values of x, different values of x, but two values of x, but how many values of y? Only one value of y that is same here, 16 and 16. This is very important situation when you substitute so many values of x, but the y is coming the same from the same equation. This is called the function. So now I would like to say one more example here. The y square is equal to x and x is equal to 4. When I substitute x equals to 4, this y square, I have to remove y square, so I will write the root and the root with 4, and your answer is coming plus minus 2. Two values of y. One value of x, but two values of y. This situation, here one value, here one value, here two values of y. So, in this situation, when you have only one value of y, it's called the function, but when you have two values of y, that is called not a function. This is the first definition of function, because y cannot have two different values. Second, uh, domain and range are the part of the functions. What is domain and range? I would like to say the value of x is called the domain here. The x is called the domain and the y is called the range. Uh, normally, uh, some teacher also use the input as x and the output as y. But I would like to say one thing, this domain is the best uh, like name for the x and the image or the range, these two possibilities are very important in function. So when I use domain in function, it means the value of x. When I use like image or range in the function, it means I'm talking about the value of y. Just please remember, okay. Uh, same example, I use this. Uh, so this, this x is called the domain and this y is equal to 6 is called the image. That's the example, okay. Uh, now, I am just using one equation here, y equals to x squared plus 2x minus 3. This y we can write fx. This is called the way this the functions. Sometimes it's written like this with the column form is okay. There's no problem. It's enough here, okay? So, now, this y when we read fx, fx, fx or f of x is okay. This is the first equation. It can be g of x. It can be h of x. There are so many ways to represent the functions. Don't worry about it. This is an equation. Now I want to substitute like x equals to 4, so then use the same equation, this first equation, I use the first equation, and I write here x equals to 4, when I substitute, the answer is coming 21. So this 4 is the domain, and this 21 is the image. This was the first introduction of the functions, domain with image and range. Now. Uh, this we have done and I would like to use the same thing when you have only one value of y, one value of y is called a function and two values of y is not a function. So the question number one of excess 9.1 you can see this actually is what? This is x and this is y. Same here. This is x, this is y, this is x 
and this is y, this is x, and this is y. Just you can see x1, y is 1, x1, y is 1, x1, y is 1, this is the function. When you here, x is only one value, but there are two images, two results. This is not a function. This is the way this we cannot have two y's, two values of y. One, 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 this is a function. This one, one, this is one. Uh, okay, two values of x can give one image. It is also possible. This is a function. Now, this was the questions I was talking about. Like, uh, uh, we have this type of question exam. We have six diagrams. Write down the letter uh, of each graph which does not represent a function. Which figure is not a function? Which is not a function? So, teachers use different method, but my method is very simple. See this method. This is also one example. What is my method? Just draw a vertical line for the function. Uh, this I will talk, in, uh, like, talk uh, like after this part. Function, draw a vertical line. Okay, draw a vertical line means I have to go there. Vertical line, vertical line, vertical line. Vertical line, vertical line, vertical line. This is the vertical line. Okay. And what's the second step? Uh, draw a vertical line. The line should cut at one point of the curve. Only one, this line, this vertical line should cut at one point. So one point means when I see this, it's cutting at two points. This is not a function. It's cutting at one point. It's a function. It's a function. Okay. It's a function. It's cutting. It's a function. This is cutting at what point? It's a function. This is cutting at two points. It's not a function. It's cutting at one point. It's a function. So, A and E. A and E are not the function we have done it. This is the first, like, the method, very simple when the graph are given. Okay, here, uh, from each of the following, determine whether the relation of function or not. So, one, one vertical line, but here, Two point. This is not a function. This is a function. This is a function. So this is like here my way to explain. Okay, inverse function is talking about this one, this part, part two. Like uh, an inverse does not an inverse. Okay, write down the letter at which graph will represent a function. Okay, first of all, what are the function? B is a function. C is a function. F is a function. D is a function. Now in this inverse is possible or not? I would like to give you inverse possible is only one thing draw a horizontal line okay we draw a horizontal line i want to draw here the horizontal line i will okay first of all i don't need this okay what uh, this is a function i will draw a horizontal line this is a function i'll draw a horizontal line this is a function i'll draw a horizontal line this is a function uh, function i'll draw a horizontal line okay this horizontal line this line should cut at one point of the curve, okay? Let's see. When this is a function, it's at one point. Inverse is possible. This two points, inverse is not possible. It's very simple way. Two, this is a function, inver and two points, inverse is not possible. This is a function, cutting at one point, inverse is possible. So, uh, does not have an inverse means, does not means we are talking about C. And we're talking about T. This we have done. Okay. So, so if you think this like uh, this video is useful for you, please uh, like my channel, subscribe my channel, and thank you so much, and have a nice day.